What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. But it's BND versus EMB here in Group A inside the Yard Invitational. What a battle this should be. So happy to have you guys still along with us, continuing through the gauntlet that is the Yard. Tyler, I mean, at the end of the day, the BND, you got to think going undefeated in this group. That means a lot to Henry and Pop. Oh, no doubt about it. These guys are the ultimate competitors. Talking a little bit bad about my guy Stiff. I mean, he's a he, he, we're champions of Chunky, and you're and you're rashing on my guy Stiff. But uh, Team Team BND look phenomenal so far. They're looking to go three and zero right now, and, and Team EMB over there struggling just a little bit. You know, Stiff and Tony they haven't really got a lot going on offense. Me and Stiff we won that tournament, of course. He kind of you know was just kind of filling in. Me and Joke, I was the quarterback, of course, and Tony. So I want to see a little bit more out of them in this upcoming matchup. But yeah. Team BND has looked phenomenal. Pavin and, and Henry, you know, and especially, too, they've gotten so much better on defense. They're so good on offense already, but really it's been defense. A couple user picks here uh, in these first couple of games has really got it going. They've been impressive looking to go 3-0. We'll see, uh, we'll see if they can do it more here and uh, continue on. I think we have a little uh, technical difficulty right now with Nick, so... I'm just looking forward to this matchup, though. Make sure you guys are in the chat right now voting on who potentially could win that fan vote and who they're going to pick, because I think Team BND right now, definitely the favorites uh, as far as who's going to pick. You know, we got my guy Pizza, who's leading the, the vote right now. And then right now we have the predict the winner of this match in the chat right now. You guys can do that. 60 to 40% Team BND over Team EMB so far. And it's going to be a big-time matchup here coming up. Make sure you guys, like I said, voting in that chat. Get involved on social media as well. If you saw my tweet earlier, use hashtag the Yard Invitational and uh, get involved. We're doing a lot of good things here. Interactive here in the Yard Invitational. TD, hey, TD, we get to call some games together. Uh, you know, we've, we've called a few Yard games, and uh, it's a different level. You know, we've done some celebrity, some influencer stuff, but when you get two MCS players uh, playing against two other MCS players, I mean, it, it gets pretty wacky, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, it does. It can get wild, right? You know, these guys are such competitors too, Scott. We've seen it for years now. These guys want to win. They don't care what's on the line, whether it's a, a yard invitation or money in the line. These guys just want to be the best in the world at what they do. And I'm excited for this first matchup here between Team BND and Team EMB again. Well, BND with a chance to go 3-0 and here. EMB uh, might be on the 0-3 side of it. And we already got a 7-1 to score. As uh, turnovers are starting to become a factor here, this is something about two users out there that really give you trouble. Yeah, it can make it super difficult. That's why, you know, especially you guys' last game, that was one of the ugliest games we've seen <laughs> in the yard. But like you said, when you have two users out there, it makes it so difficult. You know, we talk about the best stick uh, work players in the world, like guys like Drini and Noah and Problem. So when you get two of them out there, <laughs> it makes it very difficult. Well, here's Pavin. Looking down the sideline here and these windows as the night has moved on, <laughs> the chances to make re reads. I mean, it, it is, it's, it's like trying to fit it through a needle oh, no. at this point. It, it is so hard there. What? to make these passes. All right, my bad, my bad. So true. so true. And the thing is too, like we talked about, communication is important. And as this tournament goes on, these guys, it seems like they just get better and better. Big eight. fourth and 30. This is very difficult to see if Pavman can make a play. Mm. And have they lost a little bit of their edge here as oh, they turn it over? Start. Because you are 2-0, and you got a big point differential, you're playing Hold a team that's 0-2 in the groups. Uh, they, they seem like they've come out here a little flat. Yeah, they have oh. definitely started. You gotta, gotta think Team on. EMB, they're on. playing with everything on the line, you know, being 0-2, they need to win this game right, to I'm stay alive. Henry and Pavin, like you said, coming out in a little flat. See how they do on defense here. They, you know, Pavin's come up with some big user picks today in this tournament. They need another one. 
there's Gilmore, close to the marker. Going to be a third and two. Not only does EMB need to win, but they have to win big to have an opportunity, and then they got to hope that, uh, you know, Kiv and Wesley oh, yeah, also lose and get beat big as we've got a fumble out of bounds. Forza just glitched for us. Yeah, they need a big win here. Almost the big break that Team B and D needed right there. Fumble, but it, fortunately for Team Stiff and oh, Tony goes out of bounds, oh, and wow. they're on the move again. Well, it's a dibbity dot, okay. and EMB got the left has one. come out here on fire. Already 13 uh, points, looking to add to it. And it's like they're labbing right now. They're just out there in practice. That's how that's how bad B and D's getting it right now. Yeah, where, where was this all day long from Team EMB? They haven't they haven't looked like this the first two games, and now they're out here just slinging the rock, playing right. free. Just it's paying off, up 15 to one. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit of the pressure's off. I mean, you played with Stiff. We're still gonna win. You know, the earlier part of the year here in the yard. Multiple but you also called him the weak link. What's with that? <laughs> well, you know, I was I was the quarterback out there, Scott. I was making it happen. Joke was kind of the leader, you know, calling calling up the fumble, plays, making fumble, the adjustments, fumble. and and that wasn't fair to me because Stiff, you know, he played well. He kind of he made some great lead really blocks. He did his play. part, but you know, my prediction was kind of right though. So far today, it hasn't looked too well, but here he goes now, slinging it all over the field. Yeah, you got to keep it real no matter what, even Good when time. your friends are involved. And there's Fuller sliding it I into the it end is. zone. And two, 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 Henry two, two, two. and Pavin finally answered. Yeah, big time answer right there. These guys love those slant oh, ropes shoot. over the middle. They oh, go back to the slant rope to convert. And now problem. young Tony, tackle, what a user pick. Right. He's still on the move here. So that'll get him some points. They're up uh, nine. I'm going to blitz right here. Okay? And we got the opportunity I'm, 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 to slide to left, so Dockery right. in okay. here who... I think currently you're looking at, uh, you know, that the, the the back half of the picks here. Uh, so you might not get the cream of the crop, but who are you thinking uh, for sort of maybe the next pick down? Man, I'm really hoping <laughs> that EMB can kind of just re get, get a little redemption from this no, game. This player. I love seeing the underdog, so, and I, I don't know, for some reason I got, I'm getting the last pick, so. I feel like this might be my team. <laughs> well, they're stiff getting a touchdown there. And, you know, I'm not even sure like EMB is going to be one of the teams you get to choose from. So uh, it's not going to be as bad as you think. I, I think the difference between one and four, it's not a huge gap, Dockery. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm rooting for them. We'll see. We need to get on Instagram or something and start firing off some come vote in here. Come bump me up the list. Dude, I've already made up my mind. This It's rigged, so I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, TD, is it rigged? I don't think it's rigged. I think Doc Lee, I think he just doesn't want to get stuck with Team EMB out here. But hey, if they, if they play like this for him, hey, I mean, he might be onto something. Well, Dockery, we'll let you go back to watch it, man. I appreciate you not only having a good attitude, but uh, we're looking forward to seeing you play tomorrow. Same thing. I'm just, just try to go in and then jump back to There's Dockery, one of our four contributors that's going to be joining those trios. Have me. Just, uh, TD, what's the big difference can we look forward to tomorrow as we just got an absolute flood happening we right now? Here. When you go from duos to trios, how more complicated does it get? Yeah, it, go, it gets a lot more difficult. You know, so... But these guys know each other so well, right? These two guys for all these teams. But when you add yeah. in a third member, oh, no. it takes even more communication, especially with someone you don't it. know too well. Hey, and then corner. you really got to kind of establish them, bring them into your system in a sense, and teach them some plays, teach them uh, how to run some different routes. So the communication, of course, is going to be most important. But oh, having that extra God. user on the field, especially far, on man. defense, in my opinion, is going to be very uh, crucial. So if you're taking someone enough. that maybe you're not confident in, you just you just make them the blitzer? Yeah, that could be a viable strategy. Have them be the blitzer. I'd probably okay. run a lot of... I got, ooh, nice okay, little so lurk right there. Me, I I'd probably have them be... Okay. I'd probably run a lot of man coverage and have them yeah. kind of be We're the free 11. safety over the middle, see if they can make some plays and then rely on myself in the man coverage. Something some, 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 some little strategy to that. 25 to 14, EMB came out on fire early. And I think this is just a simple you, case of EMB, nothing to lose. 
B and D basically already knows they've punched their ticket to playing tomorrow. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I agree. E and B playing so loose right now. We can do that. We can do that actually. Not even talking too much when they're on offense. They're getting used to paid off a big time. I don't think anyone expected this to happen. There's a little lollipop pass at the outside. I messed up right there. I messed up. We're getting right close there. to you that final pass drive. This if you just come behind the line, like the crazy thing is, and this is why I like nah, this game nah, mode. The they're still not out of it. <laughs> as bad as they played, they're still not out of it. Exactly. They score here, then they get a stop, then they can go down and, and score and win. Definitely not out of it, especially with all these points we are manufactured. We saw that game Here's with Boogs and Mills, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep but they got that eight-point touchdown, and then they needed the three. So anything can happen in the yard. So I'm gonna motion in, and so I'm fun. gonna like I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the right. Okay, I'm gonna run to the right of the field. But I'm a motion. The big fourth down. All right, go ahead. Fourth and inches. Yes, sir. Good call. Easy for easy. We got a ball game. Two again. Yeah. That's what we call an absolute we actually can't laser. Get these for some reason. Fourth and oh, inches, right? You can't run the ball in the yard, so they go to that slant. Yeah, and they're going to go two point attempt play. here. Quick snap. Brought the heat. All right, come on. Get a stop here. And Henry just what made that a part do? of his uh, arsenal. Him and Pop it. It looks like a late pass, but it works. <laughs> As we have the final <laughs> drive presented <laughs> by <laughs> Snickers. What? Those passes, that, all these guys keep doing that. It looks so illegal, right? You pass it over there, you hit, you go across the yeah, line. I, I got and him! You might have him. <laughs> what wow. a dot. That might be the clincher. <laughs> Let's go, man. Uh, in route left? We're going to try to do in route left. Okay. Uh, going for two. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> all right, we got to lock up. All right, we do, I, I just don't think we can allow a double pass. And I think we win. So a 10 point touchdown. game, so they gotta works. have the double pass right. and the conversion. Yeah, tough spot right here. You gotta think B and D yeah, knows I'm that though. Good. They know the rules. I'm telling you, oh, what you a should, dot you from Stiff. That was that had some sauce on it. A little lob over the top. Stiff able to the make the that rack catch. Work, that was nice. Yeah. Kind of had that feeling of we haven't played well all night, but that I mean, that one play made it, it worth. That's the that's the move though. I feel like for the yeah. way they're playing, like we need a touchdown. So I mean, I don't know. Hey, corner right. Oh, no. I gotta start thinking about a first down yeah. here in a moment. Get the first. Oh man, Get what a pass! Uh, try. Do you want to do the thing we just did behind the line or no? Or just like you have to pass you it? I'm it. saying. It's all right. Left foot the corner. Right. In the game. I think you should leave left corner out. All right. They're undefeated tonight. This might be a blemish. And they keep the drive alive. I'm telling you, bro, we get this. Staying Double alive. Pass, we're in business. And that's the thing about the yard, too. They get a touchdown, and then that three-point conversion will come into play, I think, here. But oh, they're going to need a double pass You can pass touchdown. it to Axe. You can pass it to Axe. Yeah, double Let's pass. Go. Oh, my God. They could tie it. Oh, my. What a pass. Right, you want to go for the win? Go for the win? No, they go for two. Go Are for they two. going yeah, for the go win? What a play! And do they go for the win or do they go yeah, for the tie? Right. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? They're going for right, two so here. Every time this one for the rest of the play, going time. on the left. But I don't know if they're going to change that right now. Maybe just audible all the way to the left. Come with your guy all the way to the left. And then just run you like a to post run right? to the right. Yeah, run right. We haven't had an overtime game here tonight. Double pass oh, time. No way! Back to him! Oh, you got in my and way. EMB. No, that was finally good. gets a stop. <laughs> All right, we didn't go in three. It's a, let's go. That's one way to look at it. 32 to 30. <clears throat> Had a couple games that have come down to that final play, TD. But it's team EMB I mean, getting their first the win team, right? of the we night. Took out the best team. EMB hangs team. on by the thread of a needle. I mean, inches away. BND couldn't convert, and EMB, like you said, they get their first win of the night. Can they carry this momentum? Oh, what a game down to the end. That's the reaction on the long bomb that pretty much set them up for victory. And they hold on. They're at the very end, closing the door. And I think it's a simple fact if EMB had nothing to lose, BND came in a little flat because they, hey, look, hey, we're going to play tomorrow. No big deal. Then the competitive juices get in there, TD, and they almost came back uh, and forced overtime. Yeah, I think BND just came out a little soft to start it. They didn't care that much, knowing that they're already into tomorrow, and 
for Team EMB, they need to do this way earlier, putting themselves in a hole. We'll see how it kind of shakes out and if they make it to tomorrow. But if they don't, they sh this should have been their strategy from the jump. Just come out, play play Madden football, play the yard loose, let it fly, because they were just slinging it down the field early and often, and it paid off. Well, you can't overthink it. Uh, we know that. Here's the Snickers play of the game. They were up big at this point, and... Well, they put it on a little bit farther as this was Stiff going right up the seam. Right up the seam, tight end streak route. We saw Stiff a couple times. Tony just letting it rip, lob it down the field. Stiff does a little catch, swerves it, and gets it into the end zone. Well, uh, Group A starting to come to a close. We still got some more games coming up for you. Don't go anywhere as the Yard Invitational continues to chug along.